This was it. The point of no return. Whatever the end was, even and Dicey were going to meet it. Listen, Dicey, whatever happens next, I just want you to know. Look, I'm I'm not too good with uh, feelings and stuff, but I just want to say I've never become best friends with someone faster and we've saved each other's lives countless times and uh, well thank you dicey for everything <laughs> right back at you bud now let's go kick that queen's evil butt together Hiding, hiding. Is, uh, is over here good? Hard! Now then, children, inside that black dice is your ultimate destiny. <laughs> well, if it isn't the one from one town, even, was it? Poor girl, you've marched all this way alone. Only to find your own end waiting for you. Only I'm not alone, Nanny. And it seems to me that the only end I've been marching towards is yours. <laughs> nice. Such impudence demands punishment. Drop dead, I'll take your dice and I'll eat your head!
Uh, I suppose it is one's lot in life when one is a nanny to suffer doing someone else's hard work while they reap all the benefits. <laughs> Eventually, everyone leaves you behind, don't they? And any love they held for you is temporary, transactional. <laughs> I did my job, child. I followed orders. And none of us would be in this mess now if you'd followed your parents' orders and stayed home. <laughs> when I come back. Such unearned confidence. You know, everyone is so quick to judge her. But the Queen really likes you, even. <laughs> well, there's a lot of that going around, child. You're not a popular person here. Now then, run along before you're too late. <laughs> of reassuring, but okay. Those poor children. It's... it's so much worse than I... than I... Is the black goo coming from their heads? Their brains? The black dice is mining those poor children for their nightmares, their darkest dreads, their most agonizing miseries, coalescing them into the... The robots, the dark twisting of the arenas, all of it, it's all powered by those helpless kids' nightmares. There are few things more powerful than unbridled fear. This place, it, uh, it feeds on it. It's a sacrifice. lucky, isn't it? That is her. She's still alive. Oh, then Arj didn't kill her after all. She might not be as far gone as I'd thought. <laughs> oh, Odd. I hope you're okay. Oh, masters of the one true dice. Have my sacrifice has not been ample. Have you not long feasted on paranoia, bitterness, fear itself? let this great work falter. I beg you for just one more boon. Just a taste of your power. I 
wish to share my dominion over chance itself with my successor. Just as I once did to you, this child has proven her. She will please you, just as I have. She will keep up my end of the bargain, so that you can keep up yours. My dark lords, I beseech you, let my power be shared, and I swear that two souls shall then worship you evermore. Odd, step forward. There's no more time to prepare your... your entire twisted realm to stop you and to save my sister and that's what I'm gonna do come on odd we need to get out of here nobody's being held here foolish even odds free to go if she chooses so I should go with you now even because why you finally deigned to come see me? No, Odd, it wasn't like that. You need to... To what? To understand that my little sister, the one who's always had it so easy her entire one alive, now thinks she knows what's best for me? Odd. Or maybe you're just jealous that I've grown up and of the power I'm about to receive. Is that it? She chose me, even. It is sad to see such pettiness embodied in someone so young. She's standing between you and your power. And remind me, Odd, what do we do to those who stand in our way? No. We destroy them, my queen. Ah, so we do. I don't want to fight you, Odd. And you've always been so young, far too young to see that none of this is about what you want. <gasps> nipping at my heels. Oh, don't speak that way. And straight, put down. Doing well, Lord. I learned from you, my queen. She 
It's not your queen, Odd. Sister, after all. Odd! Is that really you? Trust me, sis. Sorry, that that mask. I I became so petty, so afraid, and oh, oh, even I hated myself. No, 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 Odd. I love you. I love you no matter what. Even weaker without her, like everything good and strong in me is. <sighs> we'll help you, Odd. I've got some help. She hated me poking around it. She then I say it's our best chance. Let's go. Your story ends here, you urchins. I offered you a kingdom and you chose the dirt. Come back here, you wretches. to replace. She looks so sad, frozen at the moment of her death. You know nothing! Nothing! This is none of your business, and neither is that
Now do you finally seek what happens when you embrace randomness? You die! You're ruining everything! Everything! And I won't let you! To win one unexpected random element, a one and nobody against the I'll always protect. Even it must be yoked to a purpose. <laughs> you see, you are nothing without that cursed dice. to let her go. No! No! I won't let you die! If she dies, then I failed. That all of this was futile. This whole world can burn for all I can, as long as she lives! <coughs> <laughs> Alexandria, I... I'm not worth it. Shh, don't say that. Of course you are. I love you. I love you. Please. It hurts. It hurts all the time. Even when time stops, it's still... <laughs> Let me go, sis. I, I can't wait for you here, but I promise I'll wait for you there. No, don't. Don't. We'll play again, okay? Just you and me. Natalia! Just you and me.
boy. Anywhere in random, we could end up lost. Nah. And as for what happened next, well, did you hear something? 